and pharmacies throughout the country have reopened their doors following a one-day closure due to the recent price control measures put in place by the Davis-led administration. The government promising to meet with the Bahamas Pharmaceutical Association if pharmacies reopened today. And while that did happen, the nation's leader, the Honorable Philip Davis, making it clear that he expects pharmacies to comply with the price control mandate that has been implemented in the best interest of the Bahamian people. There's more in this report. On Monday, the BPA released a statement advising its members to temporarily shut down on New Providence and Grand Bahama. The strike action was said to be a response to the government's decision to impose a reduction of the profit margin on medication. Prime Minister Philip Davis announced in the House of Assembly today that as the new price controls on medicine takes effect, he expects pharmacies to comply. The new price controls on medications are in effect. Pharmacies will remain open and we expect pharmacies to come into full compliance in the coming days. Yes. In raising the minimum wage and expanding price controls, my government is holding firm in protecting the interests of the Bahamian people. Last month, the Prime Minister announced the changes to the price control items, including 38 new categories of items and the reduction of the profit margin on price controlled drugs. The new changes officially took effect on October 17th. While acknowledging the concerns of business owners as it relates to the new price controls mandate, the Davis administration gave businesses more time to adjust their prices. Today, the nation's leader said his administration will continue to review how the changes could impact to both businesses and consumers. We have listened to their concerns and we have been flexible about some of the details. We will continue to review the impact of price controls on both consumers and businesses. But the bottom line is the cost of this global inflation crisis must be a shared burden, not one that falls primarily on Bahamian families just working to get by. Yes. You have to share it. Man. That's, that's my cry to all. Davis says his main goal is to provide relief to residents and businesses, and his administration is confident that the increase in minimum wage and the new price controls is the beginning of that process. I believe that this increase in the minimum wage to provide some measure of relief for working payments. While a growing economy, while, and I repeat this, while a growing economy will allow businesses to adjust successfully.